Hey, what's going on guys? It is Fallen here, and last night my guild went in for an extra day for a little bit, and we killed uh, Queen Anserect on Heroic, so we got a week one kill. Granted, it was pretty late at night, um, but I just kind of wanted to do what we did for the normal video, go over this one, kind of do our thought process through this fight, and what's going on. Um, first things first, I was trying out a different... Uh, resolution that might work for stream a little bit better to make stream smoother but uh we are definitely not going to do 720 because this looks like crap but it is the kill video on a side note i did die at the uh end of this fight so um i'll walk you through on how to not die at the end of this fight as well but we're just gonna, gonna go through see what we're doing see how we're gonna play this and how to do maximum damage so here we go Two, one. Uh, for this fight, there is no need to charge, right? So we have no need to charge the boss because when we um when we pass uh, Odin's Fury, we get a rage right now with the talent we're taking. So there's no point to charge because you charge all the way out there. We're just losing time. We're losing a global. We don't want to lose global. M most damage we can do, especially because we're lost in our pool, right? So we're just gonna pop wreck, avatar, trinket, um, dragon's roar or thunder's roar now. And then immediately, you're going to hit a Rampage. You want to hit that Rampage first, that way you have a Bloodthirst, because we're going to cast Bladestorm, and Bladestorm is going to cast a Bloodthirst um, during it. So just a small damage increase instead of casting a regular uh, Bloodthirst, is going to cast a Bloodbath because we're buffed. And once you come out of that, then we'll just keep our regular rotation going. Um, so just keep pumping. Um, pumping, pumping, pumping. We're going to dodge the green circles right here, and then we're going to move. And then you don't get this mechanic too often in normal, but we're going to get the uh, blades. I got so melee. Get big lines at the dodge. If you get hit by it, you're slowed by like 99% movement speed, so you really can't move. And in heroic, there's it's a little hard to see because 720 did not scale it down very well. Um, there's two bombs. So you'll have one for melee and one for ranged. So we're going to have to get into those to get blasted over her big AoE so we can safely continue so we're going to dodge the web lines and then we're going to come over here get positioned and then there's one for ranged one for melee we're going to stand in it they're going to pop it for us and we're going to land over and the people who popped it get a big circle they've got to go run out and then we're going to dodge waves the waves get bigger as they go so if you can you want to step through the melee one and then pre-position to see where the one from range is coming so that we don't have to move Dodge the green again. Here it comes. And so now, just like in normal, where you would get ads right here, everyone's going to get rooted. You're not going to be able to move. So this is where we're playing Fury Warriors. We are like the best for this, right? Um, The whole point of phase one is we're going to do as much damage as we can, but we're going to be little patters, right? We're going to set our cooldowns up to be used on the webs, so that way... Everybody can get out, everybody's safe, but then we also look good on the damage meter, right? So the very first one that comes up, we are going to have an Odin's, and normally you'd have a Bladestorm, but for some reason on this pool, my Bladestorm is like two seconds off. I don't know how, every pool has been up right here for this, so you'll have Bladestorm for this. But for some reason, mine was just about two seconds off. But we're going to pre-position ourselves. There's a bunch of melee over here, melee will be fine. We're going to pre-position ourselves with the rest of the raid over here. And we're going to try and make sure we can get everybody out of these roots as fast as possible. So normally we would have a Otis Fury and a Bladestorm. For this one, it's really important that you go in. You want to use a Rampage, so you have a Bloodbath proc. Again, this is this is very minor for this one because it's massive. We, but for a single target, you really want the Bloodbath proc. Um, but we're going to pre-position ourselves so we can blow all of these up right here. So here's the roots. We're going to Odin's. And then normally I would blaze from right there, but for some reason I did not have my blaze from up. But we gotta break them out really fast, because here come the lines, right? Nice. And then so now you have... Uh, we're gonna get our bombs again. So you really don't want anybody slow right there, so everybody can position their bombs very well. Keep pumping, keep pumping, keep pumping. We're going to get knocked over and then just keep hitting the boss, right? So now we're looking where all the green circles are going to be coming from. Wait, one more set of pools here. 
I did something bad and luckily I didn't need to shit, drop a pool. But right after that one, we're baiting this green. You don't want to do what I did and go in front of the boss. You always want to try and swoop behind the boss because you're filling up the whole room, right? So we kind of, we want to go this way. We want to, or we want to go this way, not in front of the boss. I just got lucky I didn't spawn a pool, so we got lucky that one. So now we've got small stacks again. Here I am. I'm trying to force people out. I'm trying to wiggle my way over here as much as I can. This one's going to be everything. So Avatar, Wreck, Dragon Sword. And then I'm trying to save this person. It's right in a blade. And we're going to do a stack, or with your answer. Which, I think we saved him. Hopefully. But now we got another one. All right, so we're back into another one. Where we're going to have an Odin's and a Blade Storm, right? This is a double one. This is why Fury Warriors goaded. Because we have all our cooldowns for that one. And then we have two big cooldowns for this one. So here comes this one. We're going to Odin's Fury. And then we're going to Blade Storm. Oh, drop the head. Okay. And then here I am, Big playing move. hero, trying to break somebody out. And they use their own thing. Should use some dodging my blades here. So this is the hardest overlap of the, item of the first one. You have six seconds, right? When this cast goes off, the big circle comes out, and you have to be in the air over it. We have to dodge right here. We have to dodge all these lines, and then get everyone has to get in a circle, and then it has to be popped. So this is the hardest overlap. So we all dodge. We all get over here, and then immediately we pop it and jump over. And now we are in the first intermission. The first thing I'm going to say about this intermission is just be smart and live, right? Use the tools you have to live. So right here, predation, this hurts. We're going to go defensive stance. Right? In the zone. We're in two AMZs, we're in defensive stance. We're trying to take as little damage as we can, and look, we and barely took damage. Now, some people will go in and try to get, you'll see some people over here, they'll try to get this two seconds, two globals of DPS. Remember, a dead DPS does no DPS. Living is always better. So I always just run out for the very first pull in. Here comes the first pull back, guys. So we're going to get our first pull, flop out of defensive stance, go in, and we're going to pump, right? We should have Odin's coming up. So we're going to send this. So two. Watch your health here, please. And two. now know. we're going to get pulled. But we need to break this shield. The way I do this is I will, the the orbs go in between the other orbs, so I line myself up for where I want to be, I stay in, and I'm going to leap out. This so we're going to stay back. in, we're, doing this pullback. we're yeah, lined we're up, we know where we're we want to be, we're going to leap out. So the other warrior went defensive stance there, I don't know if you saw it, um, but I just used uh, enraged regen. So I just, I used my, that was my defensive instead of going. Defensive stance, I wanted a bigger defensive here. Because okay. all we gotta That's do now, ego. we gotta live, it's a shield for us. and we gotta break this shield. Break the shield before the next pull, or it's a white. So we got our blade storm going, we were pumping, and we blasted That's that it. shield. We weren't even close. The time on Beerus, 40 seconds. Okay. So, yeah. now we're going into intermission. These ads, there's one on side. each side, and the ads share health. So both teams have to work okay. together to make sure we kill it while everyone's in good positions and everyone's ready. On heroic, Watch we circles, have these the purple circles to dodge. Oh, I spawned one in melee. They destroy you if they hit you. So you just gotta keep dodging them. Let's get ready to jump up. We're going up. Now, I want my cooldowns as soon as we get up top. Right? Because up top, it is a race. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to blow my big cooldowns on the very first platform. Alright? We're not really here to pad ads. We are here to kill what needs to die. So we're gonna land, we're gonna blow all of our cooldowns. Just call up when it's up. And if you're very fast with it, yeah, well. you can get the Odins and the Thunders Roar on both of ads before it teleports Four, two, away. One. We're gonna keep hitting the Guardian because we're gonna get pulled here. So we're just gonna keep pumping this Guardian, pumping pull. this Guardian, pumping this Guardian, and then with the pull is how we're gonna use it whenever it's to safe. swap to the other one. Because we gotta kill the Expeller to go up top. Kill the Expeller. Two. One. So once the expeller dies, he should be on the next this, and we can put, we can go up. Do not Odin Fury this. Wait. Fake, Tank right? needs aggro, you will die. So we're gonna get over here on the yeah, sure warshipper, the and then once we're on the warshipper, then we're gonna blow yeah, our wait. cooldowns. We're gonna lose a second first blade storm. It is fine. We're gonna rally. 
Now the dispels on this platform. I can dispel on our set. So we had rally out. We don't really have anything right next here, one. but it's gonna hurt. Good. Gotta get topped up. Watch HP. And now once it's boost? gone, we're gonna go to the top. No guardian spirit here for you, Merc. No. We yep. have nothing, no big cooldown. I got dilation. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's just on that right show. Is to kill the void speaker. Orbs. The void speaker shares health on both sides. Orbs. You gotta make sure everybody gets up here at the same time. Orbs. And we're dodging orbs. We're just dodging orbs. There's some cleave on the little skitters, but that's not what's important. What's important is we are killing the void speaker and getting interrupts. Watch these orbs. We're gonna kill this, and then we're gonna go up Hello. to the final phase. <laughs> Once we're up here in the final phase, our potions are back up from full, and because we blew our cooldowns right when we got down the other phase, our cooldowns are right back up. So we've got cooldowns, and we are ready to go. We are just pushing, 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 pushing. Right here, it's free damage. All right, we want all the damage we can get. Watch a drop. So boss comes down, real easy. Tank's gonna get a big circle on him, he's gonna run out. There's gonna be ads, and the ads you have to nuke. Do you wanna GS me now? You have to nuke these ads, right? So ads are gonna be over there. We're enraged, we're gonna come out here, and we're just gonna hit a blaze storm. They gotta get nuked. Make sure you guys are killing those ads. Focus on the ads. Now, in Heroic, these are called shackles. There's two webs. What's gonna drop? It's gonna drop something that's gonna pull you in. You wanna put them kind of in front of the boss, and you just wanna. Destroy them. Well, I just clean, we just clean them down pretty much. So here they are. They're gonna pull you in. So just kind of fight it a little bit. Just push it. Bring down the to Odin's Fury to hit both of them. And just keep leaving. Get these to the edges. I got in. All right. So now here we have portals. You're gonna put one on one side, one on the other side. Boss gonna do a big ring that if it touches you, you die. You use a portal to go across. So you want to put one. It's far in and one far out. That's not cool. Good. So here we go. Dodge the orbs that come out of it. Then get ready. Just be careful that puddle, hey. Be careful that puddle. Holding. Right. Go now. And then we're going to go through. Right and then out. you got to spread. You got to immediately spread. I'm going to use spell reflect here. I'm going to call for your GS here in a second. Oh, and I then we got to dodge move. lines again. Yeah, and then it. dodge the orbs. We need to move up a bit, I think. Yeah. Tony now. Go ahead and GS me now. Yeah. So, this is where I die. What you have to do is you still have to watch the ground. I'm looking over here to see where the boss is, and I'm looking right here. Where I'm not looking is where all the pets and the demons and all the death knight pets and abominations are. I'm not looking right here. So, I go to pre-position myself so I can get to the ads. The problem is, there's going to be death. Death is right here. So, I walk right into it. And it's pretty hard to see. This is also the first time we got this far. So, I'm, just, I'm letting you guys know, if you know what to do, as soon as you get up here to phase 3, you can kill the boss. I had a guild that their best pull was 33%, so they just barely got into it. They might have done one of the portal passes. The next pool, they killed it, right? So once you get here, you can kill it. You just got to know what you need to dodge. And so I'm here to let you know, you need to dodge the purple circles dropping on the ground. There's another example of one down here. So we're going to do the rest of this video from Floor Pov. So watch I'm dead. Watch your health. Health. Watch health. They're going to go nuke the bombs. And then you have, we have, a, we have a, a shackle, shackle over again. Here. But one was down back here yeah, where we were the boss, the that's fine. Just kill the shackle. The shackle just pulls you, right? Just kill that shackle back there after the other done, and then come to the other one after. We're killing the ads. ads too. Now you get three big shackles, ads, get the and you also now need to dodge these lines again. Dodge the lines, the ads, the ads. The ads. and then you need, there's three ads you gotta kill. One, two, and three. I'm hemming, I'm hemming, we have mana. So here we go. We're pumping, pumping, pumping the ads. Goodbye, goodbye. We're and gonna get back to the portals again, right? So, unfortunately, these portals are right here. So yeah, we have to play back right here. Back. Back. And then the back other portal. one's over here. You get, get over here, get over here. Team. So, it's gonna be a little tight. Yeah, it's really tight timing, guys. Really tight timing. Good. Wait for it. Go. 
And everybody makes present, it away present, from present. everybody. I think, but the, Watch the shaman dark. made it through. Anything you can live. We're gonna dodge. We're burning yeah, spread boss, again. Burn yeah, yeah, dodge the lines, boss. and then we just kill the boss. The boss is at five percent. You have GS. If you need to call for it. Kill, kill, I kill. Yeah, dilate too. Yeah, dilate. So, throw it on him. Here we go. They're gonna. Everything else arrogance. The boss blow. 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 The boss. And you're crazy. Is this an embargo? Embargo. I fucking killed him. Oh, you did. 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 You that is heroic queen and Serect. Um, everybody makes mistakes. I made a mistake right, right here. Right, I didn't see the purple puddle. I wasn't ready for it. I I'd, I'd only been in phase three once because they had a little longer progression than I did. I got home late last night. Um, everybody makes mistakes, but that's okay. We got the kill. You guys can get the kill once you get once you can get through into phase three. Y'all can kill the boss. Phase three is easier. Um, the intermission is hard for people because those dispels wreck, and the timing and the little dance in phase one is what is what's hard about phase one, and then you gotta have enough damage to push that shield before the uh, the third grip. If you don't get the third grip, you're gonna wipe. Um, but there it is, Queen Answer at Heroic Week One. Uh, I think I was. 508 in this uh, video. Franny's 508 as well, but Franny has two set. Um, and Franny played it a little differently than I did. I played for um, phase one. I played for, you saw me running out trying to pull, save people to keep the grade alive. Um, which you shouldn't really have to do. People should be able to stack close enough for it. Um, but overall, that's the fight. Um, if y'all got any questions, drop a comment. Uh, hit a like because it helps me. Or you, you know, you can come Leave it in my Discord whenever y'all want. Um, but I hope all y'all have a great day. Good luck in the raid. And uh, good luck in your first vaults this week, guys.